Hello! Today I have something a little different. Instead of the usual like painting or making stickers, I made something a little different. Um, it's a digital planner template. I used this app called GoodNote and previously I've been using templates from other people but I wanted to create something that fit me and then and use it to a way that I like. So I created a few templates and I kept it pretty simple and minimal so that maybe other people can use it as well. So let's get started. So once you download the files from the description box below, you want to extract them. So you can click on the files on your iPad or on your laptop and extract them. And then if you open them, you will have four files so the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and some stickers. So I'm going to create a new notebook and just title it 2021 and use one of the default cover pages and the dotted paper. All right, so after you create your notebook, I'm going to click on this icon and import. So I'm going to select all of them. Oops. Okay, so if you look here, all of the files have been imported and I'll go through one by one. So first of all, this is the monthly calendar. I kept it pretty minimal, so all the dates are on here and at the top, there's this section for highlight. And this is just where you can write any like major events that happened or anything important. So here, you can like put in a picture here for each day so that you know what happened. Something simple. Yep, so this is the monthly page and next this is the weekly page. I've noticed that with my schedule, um, I find it helpful to have an overview of what's happening by hour. So for example, on Monday 9 to 12, I'll be working and then from 1 to like 6, also work. There's different ways that you can use this, but this is just one way. And then let's say, for example, I have a meeting at 3. Then I could do something like meeting. Like that. Or maybe like this. Or I've uh, made it so that at 4.5 millimeters, it would fit this one row so you can like do that and for the daily planner um, this is just an overview of the day so in this top corner I left an empty space where you can put any pictures or for example I personally like to see the month in the view so that we know how far we are so I created the sticker sheet you can use this lasso tool and just take a screenshot, copy, and then come back to the daily planner and paste it. And then you can resize it so that it fits. So like this, you can put the monthly calendar and then for the, for the other days, you can go into the settings and then duplicate each page so that you don't have to go each day and then copy and paste. Or also you can put a picture of the day so that you know what happened that day and then you can look back at it. So yeah, there's different ways to use this little corner. And then here, um, you have the section for the dates. I want to improve this area a bit, but this will do for now. So you can use the highlighter and then just mark each date. And then for the overall mood and the weather as well. So yeah, that's the top part. In the left section, you have the day by hours. I started from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m. Sorry if your day starts in a different time. <laughs> For here, you can use a highlighter such as like this, maybe like for example, during this time I have a meeting. Or 
or I could use the shape tool and and then here I can use like work so that I know that during these times I'll be working. This is one other way that you can use it. On the right, I divided the priorities into work and personal. Personally, I like to keep them separate because they can get mixed up at some times. So for a work priority, for example, I could do something like complete report. And then for personal priority, grocery shop. And if you look closely, I have this dotted line in the middle so that um, if you have to write something long. So after I'm done, I can just check them off and any other to-do items for the day. Next for tracking, you can track like water or notes. And at the bottom, we have two sections for gratitude and meals. I think during this time, we can all use something to be thankful for. So <laughs> write on individual lines or multiple, multiple lines. And then for meals, I personally like to keep track of what I ate so that I know that maybe I've been eating a lot of junk food or not enough vegetables. I could do like breakfast. Maybe I could even like highlight where we are. So yeah, this is an example of how you can use it. So for 2021, I wanted to also incorporate this planning method called Mandela Art. It became famous by this baseball player named Shohei Otani. During an interview, he explained that he used this planning method and then it was one of the tools that made him successful. So basically what you do is in the middle, you have the title or the main category or topic and eight sub items. These each items you will then put into each in the other boxes and then write details. So for example, in the title I'll put like 2021 and for item one, I could put YouTube, Etsy, self-development, and then I would take these items in purple and then put them in here. So now focusing on this first item for YouTube, I would then go in deeper with more details. So for 2021, I want to upload at least one video per week. So upload one video per week, 1,000 subscribers. You can dream big, right? And then 4,000 watch hours, etc. So you get the point. So you fill out everything and then yeah, you have more like a detailed view of your plans. So I think this is a good way and I completed mine and it gave me a better view of how I want to spend this upcoming year and what actions I have to take. And in the below, I added this section for 2021 goals and reminders because once this is all filled out, it can get a little overwhelming because there is just so much going on. So you can either take some specific items from the above. So for example, for 2021 goals, I can put like 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 watch hours. Reminder, upload one video per week. So yeah, this is something that I hope is also helpful to you and that we can all hopefully have a better year for 2021 and yeah let me know if you use this or if this has been helpful to you thank you all for watching and i hope 2021 is a good year for all of us thank you bye